Bug Out Rippy here. Thursday, the 27th of June. And it feels like Friday, doesn't it? I just arrived. The auction started about an hour ago. We're at the Greenies, the Green Families. We call it Greenies. Uh, it's currently reigned, I believe, by the two sisters. And then the brother has a place down the road. I'll fall down. Uh, this power line, it's the same one that goes by the ranch. But I had to go around two road closures coming here, so keep that in mind when you're out traveling. This is the Interstate 70 out here. Um, Greenies is right here at the Route 42 and I-70, West Central Ohio. This machine here was built in uh, Marion, Ohio by the Huber Manufacturing Company. And it, it's Mark sold. But yeah, a little threshing action going on. Millions and millions of dollars of equipment been taken through here. Quickly, um, in the auction business, there's two things that you want to avoid uh, or beware of in the auction business. And the one we call it space taker uppers, and the other one is time wasters. So, do you see anything in here that used to belong to your family? And then they um, they consign things and you just come up when you want to buy it you pull the tag you go up there and you pay for it and take it the famous John Deere plow the John Deere company was built on the moldboard plow back in the day in the horse drawn days um, but if you're not using something that's taking up space and you want to beware of the space taker uppers we just call them that we don't even like that hay conditioner it's just a if you, if you can't turn the key and get on it and ride it it's a space taker upper and the other one's the time waster when you're asking two dollars or three dollars for something and they want to give you two and it's worth a hundred oh wow look at the, here's a, a classic piece of equipment that pan they use those pans for digging potatoes and all kinds of stuff back in the day this one's made by the dearborn Dearborn farm equipment probably up here in Detroit man really fabulous shape people use them for all kinds of stuff and gravity wagons you use them for the run on gear and then you make a hay wagon out of them so we have a great hay making day out here little call packer call a mulcher little hole poker a space taker upper parse machines we're in the first row a two row guys so you can go up and down the road on that without hanging over or being oversized it has the big cab on it wow round balers a lot of moving parts in a, in a baler machine a ripper a lot of old rusty rusty stuff out here man seed cleaner silage blower the silage equipment people invested heavy in the silage business and then they went to bags out of Blair Nebraska now here's one piece of a he, he's got tires off a pickup truck on that right here but that little and we'd run them in gangs so some stuff in here that would be useful to the hobby farm owner and a bigger hole poker irrigator you know they've used that style of hay rake for a long time a sprayer how many things can go wrong with a sprayer see this part here that part there and that part there it's like five thousand for that two thousand for that five thousand you got that that's a hundred thousand dollars sitting there when you're done with it especially in parts another silage obsolete silage so we were going to use some silage stuff to chop hay up and all kinds of things the classic before there were sprays we would cultivate and a friend of mine raises organic but on a commercial scale and he had a 24 row cultivator out there in the corn the corn was about knee high there's a running gear all reconditioned a four row John Deere planter the old style harvester by John Deere an antique guys right there pull behind uh, harvester another four row 
some beautiful old equipment and here's this we call this the truck stops and there's a camping world there i don't know by the big flag that was actually a case and john deere's across the road jd it was called a the case i ate superstore when they opened it and then it went to sundowner the horse side uh, there's some hay wagons all ready to go for for the farmers and now it's currently camping world they're loaded with stock they're nice people i could go over there we were over here last week for the shelby cobras uh, uh, elevators have multiple uses and some more elevators down there on the ground portable but there's the interstate that's what these places make these guys build ponds retention ponds and then they don't enforce mowing around them i've seen a place that's not even year old and big old horse weeds in there so this is your new idea stuff made out in kansas like heston this one here's marshfield wisconsin these guys are pretty expensive there's about three grand sitting right there i mean if you got six or ten of them that adds up so now we're into more modern but look at my time allotment um there's obsolete silage and uh, these guys they go in and out of the dairy business anymore the 7720 that would make someone that one's probably going to tennessee 7720 wow Yeah, you get a repair bill on one of them, man. Woo. Huh. I don't remember seeing one of them before. Obsolete plows. I've seen them go for 400 bucks at sales. Here we are. It smells like bacon. Is my camera still working? You hear the bacon? And then in the wintertime, when more people use the electric for their... Uh, spoiled life of air conditioning uh, the electric really flows through this thing there's a nice ripper a more modern silage wagon someone bought new and it's just a space taker up right now acres and acres this place is worth a lot of money here because it's on a clover leaf of the four lane highway that looks like it used to be my dad's. Might have been. They sold it to her, their brother. But it's kind of cool to see this stuff and then what's wore out on it and then what you have. And by learning, and I'm going to another auction today and just do as much as I can out here. See, they're just driving their cars. He's from West Virginia. Looks like the plate is anyway. They're all tagged, well-run auction, one of the best in the nation. This is how the business is run, guys, right here. And it's all boots on the ground, too. Remember that. Boots on the ground. And if it's online when you purchase it, you need to put the boots on the ground to go get it on the deal. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Burgard Rippy here at Greenies. Watching the sale today, June the 27th. Thank you.